being 36 and making it to the Olympics is not easy. I, I thought to myself, oh my God, what am I doing here? You know, I mean, these guys are gonna kill me. Not to be rude to them, I want to be respectful, but I think I did the opposite. <laughs> so that's how it all started. My name is Besnik Sokoli. I'm a resident manager, superintendent in Brooklyn. My goal is hopefully to make it into Winter Olympics and represent Kosovo in alpine skiing. My training regimen is usually muscles that I won't do much during the day. I have a, what it's called a skier's edge. It's a machine that goes side to side, emulates skiing on dry land. It's in a boiler room of my building where everything is down there, from the pumps to boilers, the water tanks, the smells. <laughs> so that's where I do it. And I don't have any other choice, I don't have any other place. So. I started skiing in January before I became three. All the way till probably 16, 17. I am a war refugee from Kosovo. I came to the United States in 1999. The whole racing agenda started uh, January 2017. I wasn't much serious about racing. I didn't even think of it. I just wanted to go to the mountain and be free and feel the snow. I went and signed up for this race in upstate New York. Nothing was planned, it was just spur of a moment for me to, to go and race. And I did so well that actually I, I had the bug. Then after that I had to chase every single race. It's a beautiful sport. It's an expensive hobby, I'll tell you that. I am financing this on my own with my wife. I maxed out my cards to pay for all of this. Uh, mostly the trips in different continents, plus you need all the equipment and everything amounts to a lot of money. Just a lot of money. I can't think of a ride! These guys are professionals that make their living by doing this and they've been skiing forever. And they know probably everything about everything about skiing. But mentally, I think I'm far ahead of them, to be honest. Being a father, uh, being married, being a superintendent of 150 units in Brooklyn, New York, that mentally gives me a big old advantage. I mean, for Christ's sakes, I'm down in a Brooklyn basement. Do I think I have a chance? I'm not oblivious to it. I don't think I have a chance to win it. But you never know. That's my competitive side that kicks in. You never know. I'm going happy without a worry in the world. If someone would have thought it was a crazy idea, I would say they're not living. I would say they're not living at all. If you're not gonna do anything like this, then or is the fun in life.